Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear students, today we are going to discuss the topic that is magnetic field produced by electric current. In 1820, a scientist by the name of Hans Christian Ostrad was studying a current flowing through the conductor and a compass needle was present near the conductor in which the current was flowing. So when the current flows, he observed that the needle of the compass show deflection. So he discovered that when the current is flowing through a conducting wire, then it produces a magnetic field around this wire and this discovery was the foundation for the branch of physics called electromagnetism. His experimental arrangement is shown here in this figure. We have a conducting wire and it is passed vertically through a paper board and on the paper board we placed um, compass needles. So when the conductor is connected with the battery then the current will start to flow through the conductor and when it flows then it produces the magnetic field around this wire which is indicated by the deflection of the needle of the compass. Now, from his experiment, the following results were obtained. The first result was that when large amount of current flow through a conductor, then magnetic field will be stronger or we can say that the stronger magnetic field will be produced around this conducting wire. And if the small amount of current flow through this wire, then the smaller or we can say weaker magnetic field will be produced around the magnetic, around the conducting wire. So we can say that larger current produces stronger field and vice versa. The second result was that the field gets weak with the distance from the conductor. Means like here you can see in this figure at this point the distance from the conductor is small so here the magnetic field or electromagnetic field will be stronger and at this distance you can see that the distance at this point from the conductor is little bit more or it has a large distance. So at this point the magnetic field or electromagnetic field will be smaller or weak field. So here we can say that the field gets weak with the distance from the conductor. And another result was obtained is, was that, that this magnetic field formed around the magnet, around the conducting, around the conductor carrying, around the current carrying conductor is in concentric circles. Concentric circle means these all circles have one center point. Like here you can see that these circles has only one center. So these three results were obtained from this experiment. Now we will discuss the direction of this magnetic field produced by the flow of electric current through the conductor. And this and the direction of the magnetic field can be found using right hand rule. 
Now we will discuss that what is right hand rule. Here you can see in this figure we have a conducting conductor. We have a conductor in which the current is flowing and it is placed in right hand or it is gripped in right hand. Now grip or place the conductor in a way that this thumb, the thumb of your right hand indicate the direction of the current and the other curling fingers will show like the direction of magnetic field like here you can say that we have a marker let us suppose that this is a conductor and the current is flowing from downward to upward so put this marker or this conductor in your right hand and the in, in a way that this thumb indicates the direction of current as I told you before that it is flowing from downward to upward now this curling fingers will shows the direction of the magnetic field now if we reverse the direction of the current like here it is moving from upward to downward then the direction of the magnetic field will also be reversed so here this rule is written here grasp the wire with your right hand such that the thumb pointed in the direction of the current like I told you that put the conductor in your right hand in a way that the thumb indicates the direction of the current then the curling fingers of your right hand will show the direction of magnetic field so this was all about the magnetic field produced around a current carrying conductor if you have any question you can ask in comment below in till next session have a good time and take care of your health. Thank you.